What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, Nick Fuentes has dropped a bomb on just purdy things. And of course, he was over there with um, value tainment. And of course, we already kind of know what kind of value tainment platform is being ran there. Um, a lot of those guys, in my opinion, are, are anti-black. You know, they have the fresh and fit guys over there. So, again, they're a, a somewhat conservative platform. Again, I feel that it is anti-black. All right. Just my own personal opinion by the people that they bring on and what I've heard, you know, David Beck have an argument or debate with Roland Martin in, in, in that case in which he was absolutely destroyed. But let me just get back to having Nick Fuentes on their platform. Having Nick Fuentes on your platform means a lot in my honest opinion because Nick Fuentes isn't that smart. He's liable to say anything because he's stupid. And I'm gonna prove how stupid Nick Fuentes is because he said this. Here's my question. Uh, are you amazing music producer now? Are you planning on doing a duet with Pearl? What is happening? I might, yeah. No, I'm, I'm not really musical, but honestly, I didn't know anything about this song. It was not dedicated to me. You know, mm -hmm. I saw, I actually just saw it on Twitter when she posted it. And I okay. said, what is she doing? Because, you know, I text her all the time and, and I tell her like, when it comes to this stuff, you're going to get backlash. I even told her when I went on her show, I said, you're going to get backlash for doing this. And I think people don't really realize what that means until it happens. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, so it definitely happened. She got what's, a lot your, of what's your relationship with Pearl now? Friends, colleagues, We're friends. constituencies, We're friends. friends. Yeah. Pearl uh, made a major name for herself. She also went to college. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's also building a business. She also played sports. She also, she played, also played sports. professional sports. As she a also, woman, up until played. today, has the right to vote. Yeah. What is Pearl doing wrong? Well, she's not doing anything wrong. I think she's uh, the only thing she's doing wrong is she should be married and have kids. But no, but I agree with her, and she agrees with me mm -hmm. on a lot of this stuff with the the women because she's in the red. Well, obviously, and... that's clearly her message. That, yeah, that we're not yeah. even going to get into that. We know her yeah, message. Absolutely. Um, but. And again, I've had Pearl on the, on the show. We've had agreements, disagreements. Pearl can come on the show anytime she's in town. She knows we're good. Okay. Now, do you guys remember the apology video that she has now deleted from her channel in which she said this? Sexist. They say, I'm a misogynist. And, you know, I really just like to give people the benefit of the doubt when I interview them. I, I don't go into interviews trying to interrogate someone. I just more try to listen and see where they're coming from. Um, in hindsight, that wasn't smart. And in hindsight, um, I should have had someone, you know, maybe Sarah Garvey, um, maybe another content creator that could have pushed back more and really was more educated on the topics that he was talking about than I was. Because I certainly was not an expert in any of the stuff that he was talking about. Now, that was just proto things, right? Just purely things as a creator. Nick Fuentes is saying, listen, I don't think you should have me on your show because something's going to happen. I don't think it's a good look for you to bring me on there. Okay? The guy is saying that. And the guy is saying the same thing that mediocre in tutorials and reviews is going to say right here. Play that clip. I wish you luck and, you know, I don't. Wow. I really don't. I, I don't. I don't wish luck to racists. Oh, I'm not racist. Uh, yes, you are. Yes, you are, Nick. Yeah, I am a little bit yeah, racist. I, and um, the Italians, we do not claim you. Oh, oh, hey, the Italians don't claim you. You're the one dating a black guy. I'm not going to beat around the bush for this conversation, and I'm going to get straight to the point. Pearl, you f***ed up. You knowingly invited a white supremacist and a self-proclaimed racist onto a platform which is primarily supported by, at least initially, 
and produced by black people. This comes across as insensitive to downright nasty. And I want to be clear, it's not just inviting said person to the conversation that's upsetting because conversations with people who don't agree with each other or don't agree with a particular position, if done in a healthy way, can promote civil discourse. But your f up was to not only not defend the people who help create the content on your platform, but to also push a narrative that is insensitive and damaging to those very... Now, wait a minute. I played that clip again for a reason. MTR is pretty much justifying what Nick Fuentes is saying. Listen, don't bring me onto your platform. It's going to get a lot of backlash. Like the backlash you're getting from mediocre tutorials and reviews. But now you wanted to come out and cancel MTR. Now you wanted to come out and be mad at O'Shea Duke Jackson. Now you wanted to do all of these things when you knew like you had, like it was evident that this was going to happen and you knew it was going to happen and you wanted it to happen. That's the reason why you put the video back up and put it on, onto Rumble so you could monetize it. And now all of those anti-black people are hanging out. Valuetainment, money. I would, that's my opinion, I can't prove it, but I, I believe that Fresh and Fit definitely. All those guys are friends now. We all know their stances. And just pearly things has lost Aunt, Auntie Jenny, King Riches, Sarah Garvey. Why? Because she knew what she was doing all along, trying to pretend like, I don't know, I had no idea. But look at her platform now. She knew exactly where she was trying to go. Look, at, it's obvious. Look at what she talks about. She wants to be the white Candace Owens without the talent. The white Candace Owens without the ability. the white Candace Owens without the situation. That's what she wants to be. All right. That's the truth. And, 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 and we don't want to deal with that. But the reality is all those guys who wanted to back her up Oh, don't apologize. <laughs> How when she knew what she was doing? You're talking to the, 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 even the racist guy was like, look, this is not gonna be a good look for you. Don't do it. But no, let's sit back, pretend like we don't know. Then guys came after me. They came after everybody else. How, Sway? How? And that's why I don't take any kind of people serious. Like, oh, I don't know that that was racist. Oh, I didn't know that wouldn't piss black people off. Pete, you see how folks be te not telling the truth? And we look at her platform right now. It is clear as day. Look at who she, she's still friends with Nick Fuentes and lost all of the black employees. How is that not proof? How is this not true that this person has some anti-black sentiment? didn't want to play stupid. But the whole time they knew where they wanted to be. Getting the white conservatives to help us, getting the white conservatives to help them, transitioning, getting into a more, I would say, almost gracist fan base, a gracist fan base who have a problem with African-Americans, or anti-black after using black people to help her platform get on it, it's a it's a completely amazing how this stuff works out and it's, it's 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 amazing how people have come in to different platforms and different communities that we have been in in, in black youtube and really made some of us look very bad it's amazing 
And all I can hope for is that, you know, eventually we wake up. Because these people have been playing us. And like, again, not so much anger for the Jews. And the thing what she's even doing now, playing the guitar, coming after the Jewish community, she's doing the same thing, triggering people, trying to get people mad, trying to offend, all of that. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Joke. Which is for all you use, Carrie the Bell. We're out.